Hey, good evening, everybody. How are you? This is Freddie Ewan, two-time GM of the year, current Pantheon Cup champion, host of the TPFF KAL show. We are in week 13 of the Fantasy Football League, the TPFF KAL. We're going to get to all the windings down, the Waffle Bowl is in full effect. Uh, team still alive for the playoffs, the whole nine yards. We had a very exciting day in the TPFF KAL. Just want to congratulate Neil and his uh, 49ers to had a great victory in uh, Philadelphia. Must feel really good going into Philly and getting a regular season win, um, especially what happened to you guys last year in the playoffs. Hopefully, you can come back again in late January. We'll be more than happy to welcome you back into our house. But uh, congratulations. Not going to be too much of a sore loser. Uh, 49ers are a great team. They deserve the victory. Played a great game today. And... Um, yeah, Eagles have to go to Dallas next week, so hopefully that's a little bit of a wake-up call for us. Anyway, getting to the TPFF KAL. Very exciting, very exciting. Lots of games still in effect. Uh, we're going to get to the first one, TOD and Shake and Bake. It's a typical TOD, Shake and Bake game. Going to come down to the wire. Uh, TOD right now, 56% to win. Has Patrick Mahomes down by about 23 points. Mahomes is the last player to go. Mahomes goes over 23 points. TOD wins. Mahomes goes under. Shake and Bake gets the upset and beats TOD for the first time. If you guys remember last year in the playoffs, Shake and Bake barely, barely lost um, in the semifinal matchup. Uh, Should have won that game, and uh, just things didn't go their way at the end. Zach Moss on Monday night did not get enough points. Uh, we're going to get to the waffle ball first. Just found out that Danny is Waffle Ball eligible. And uh, right now he is uh, the projected loser against the Gronk Donks. So Gronk Donks, they're both three and nine. Gronk Donks get a 23 points out of Tua. They still have Christian Watson going. Not much else for them. Um, but looks like it's going to be enough. On the other side, Baker Mayfield really doesn't do anything. Terry McLaurin puts up a donut, zero points. Mari Cooper only five points. Lockett only at seven points. Uh, Kamara puts up 25. Drake London just one point. I don't know why you're starting Drake London against the New York Jets. But then again, um, and, and leaving Curtis Samuel on the bench. But then again, that's why I am the two-time GM of the year, and Danny isn't. Um, Pacheco looks like he's going to go for Donks for Life, but looks like the Gronk Donks are going to get that victory. Donks for Life is going to fall closer and closer to the Waffle Bowl winner in the other Waffle match. Uh, Samuel Amak is not eligible for the Waffle Bowl. Red Sharks are. Looks like the Red Sharks are going to get the win. 93% uh, favorite. They still have Jordan Love going tonight. They get 25 points at James Conner. Zach Moss, who we thought was going to put up some points, only put up six points. Um, Dre McBride, big, big free agent pickup for uh, anybody in fantasy football, puts up 18.9 points. On the other side, Stroud has a decent game, 18 points. Brand Cooks had a big game. Rashad White has a big game. Uh, still has uh, Dylan and Jones going, but looks like Red Sharks are going to get that dunks for life. Uh, closer and closer to Waffle Bowl contention. Uh, looks like they're going to be a game down going into the Waffle Ball. They're going to need to win next week and need one of those two players to lose. Um, don't know what the points look like, but it looks like that's going to be the scenario for the Waffle Ball. So Danny is getting closer to the Waffle Ball. Maybe somewhere in Baltimore will be the uh, will be the Waffle Show. We'll uh, we'll find that out soon. Uh, big games in effect right now. San Patricio Rock Throwers. Looked like they were going to get their butts kicked early. A bunch of late points. Our chain came in, 23 points. Pittman puts up 25 points. Tank Dell gets hurt, goes out. Nico Collins picks it up, nine receptions, 191 yards, and a receiving touchdown. I'm telling you, those wide receivers on Houston really have really have shown for Neil this year. Um, our chain comes back, 23 points. Chuba Hubbard, 25 points. On the other side, FJTK, um, rough game at Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen for the first time really in a while. Gets a lot of points at Debo. Debo scores, uh, has a rushing touchdown, two receiving touchdowns, ripped up the Eagles, 30 points for Lamb. Um, Najee Harris really doesn't do much. He's got Kels Ridley and the Kansas City defense going, and he's down by about 40 points. It's going to be a close one. Rock throwers are favored to win 65% right now. Um Rock throwers get this win. They're going to keep 
their playoff hopes alive. Uh, a couple different scenarios, how they can get in, but they are really, w- really rooting on this next game, which is TDK versus COC. Uh, COC in a little bit of a downward spiral. Well, TDK right now, uh, 69% favorite to win. Gets a decent game out of Jalen Hurts, even though the Eagles play terrible. Still gets uh, 26 points out of Jalen Hurts. Tyreek Hill, just a big game, 32 points. Um, Sam LaPorta, 27 and a half points. The Atlanta Falcons defense, that was a great pickup for the week, 16 points. Um, on the other side, uh, Dak Prescott had a big night, 34 points. Mike Evans had a big game, 28 points. Uh, Devontae Smith finally started. Devontae Smith, smart, puts up 20 points. Um, Thielen, four points, not much. Derrick Henry has a big game, 27 points. Swift has a really bad game. But right now, uh, looks like Jamar Chase is going to be going Monday night. And uh, ETN is going to be going Monday night. That game is going to be decided on Monday night. Right now, a 69% fan favorite, TDK. TDK wins this all more than likely. They're going to get their third straight regular season TPFFK uh, win. Uh, that's a big feat. I mean, you know, whether or not Jimmy's done anything in the playoffs, I know he went to the Pantheon Cup Championship in his first year, uh, lost in the um, – Lost in the semifinals last year, but he's getting another bye week. Big, big win. Um, really tough to be consistent in the TPFFK uh, with all the cap trades and everything. Uh, TDK has been the one team that has been really consistent in the regular season. Uh, anything can happen in the playoffs. Wish him the best of luck. Uh, he's going to have the easiest road to get to the Pantheon Cup and to win the Pantheon Cup. It's going to be all on him or there's going to be a 30-30 similar to the Buffalo Bills if he doesn't win it this year. Um, another big game, Virginia Sea Dogs, Indigenous FT up against each other. Sea Dogs on a three-game skid, lost two games to TOD, lost to TDK last week. Um, they get a decent game out of McCaffrey, puts up 20 points. Puka finally comes back, puts up 24 points, 34 rushing yards, four receptions, 105 yards, and a receiving touchdown. Uh, Eckler doesn't do anything. Not much at all. Kyron Williams, that man is back. Kyron Williams, I tried to trade Brian. He was smart enough not to trade for him. I offered him a homes, I think, for him. Um, smart enough to keep him on his roster. 88 rushing yards, one rushing touchdown, three receptions, 24 yards. Kyron Williams is back. He's going to be featured in that Rams offense. Um, sea Dogs right now are a 77% favorite to win. They still have Trevor Lawrence, Christian Kirk. And Evan Ingram, a bunch of Jaguars going up tomorrow night against Cincinnati and Cincinnati. He's got a little bit of a beat-up defense. On the other side, we're going to talk about this. We already talked about this a couple times in the chat, but Indigenous FT leaves Metcalf on the bench. This is what happens sometimes when you have too much talent on your team. You end up leaving someone on the bench. That's why I always like keep the keep the – I always like to trade to get the the best starters and whatever my bench is, my bench is. But I'm always – so I don't have to make – the few decisions I can make in fantasy football, the better off I am. That's why I always try to just keep my starting lineup jam-packed. Um, leaving Metcalf on the bench, Metcalf had three touchdowns on Thursday night, 37 points. Would have been the difference in this game probably easier. Regardless, uh, you know, Josh Allen, Dalton Kincaid on bye weeks, gets 20 points out of Jared Goff. Uh, Frymouth had a great game last week, didn't do much this week, only got him four points. Uh, A.J. Brown was consistent, got him 18 points. Uh, State Brown scored a touchdown, but only had two receptions, only got him 11 points. Alave, uh, five receptions, 119, 119 yards, uh, 17 points. And the, the uh, Chargers defense up against New England puts up 19 points in a 6 nothing win. Very exciting game. But – Still got Joe Mixon going tomorrow night. Um, everyone's a little bit down on Mixon, but um, going to be tough for uh, IFT to get the win here. Sea Dogs, 77%. Looks like they are going to um, move up to 8-5 and five and um, snap that losing streak, which I'm sure, which means Brian will probably get on the chat a little bit more. We have not heard much from Brian at all these last couple weeks with um, – with, with his 
Sea Dogs on a three game slide, but we will hear from him if he wins this week, I'm sure. So um a lot of games still up in the a lot of games still up for grabs in, in these uh two games left. You know, a lot of games are still up for grabs. There's really no team that has really pounded away and won this yet, except maybe except maybe the Red Sharks. I mean, it looks like every game is really up for grabs right now. It's really gonna be um I in these next two games, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers and the Cincinnati Bengals and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Once we finish that off, once we get everyone's record, uh, next week we're going to give you all the playoff scenarios for week 14. We're going to give you all the waffle ball scenarios. Hopefully we'll get a guest on. Maybe we'll get the commission on to speak about it a little bit, but should be exciting finish to the regular season. And then we're going to get the playoffs ready to go. Um, for both uh, the Waffle Bowl and the um, the Pantheon Cup Championship. Remember, the top six teams getting in the Pantheon Cup Championship, the first five with the five best records, plus the team with the best points that is not the top five gets into the playoffs. The first two teams who's ever ranked one and two get buys. And, of course, the total points for is the tiebreaker for everything. So should be exciting. Everyone enjoy the game tonight. Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers. My name's Frey You and hope you had a great night. Hope you had a great day watching football. It was a tough day for me, but that's all right. Fly, Eagles, fly. We still have the best record in the NFL. We're still going to be there come January. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Bye-bye.